like what I do. <laughs> I am a marriage counselor, uh, a teacher, let's see, social worker, psychologist, psychiatrist, a police officer, medical first responder, firefighter. I mean, we do so many things every night that are outside of putting handcuffs on people and writing tickets. The, the solving the marital disputes. People don't think about that. That's something you do every single night is solve a family problem. What would I say to the young cops out there? Don't sell out to the world. Remain firm in the word. Firm in your convictions as a Christian, a police officer. Your work needs to be about the Lord and for the Lord. We're just the tools. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces Got out, should've seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I I went back to selling, six times failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, uh, got my bread right. Yeah. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old right. me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, suerte la suburban, because we're about to take a ride. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Ron Strong. You know what time it is, it's all in your name, all in your glory. Thank you Jesus for what you've done in my life. Thank you. People judge by the outward appearance. I mean, I get it all the time. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure the cops get it too. But the Lord looks at the heart. Spiritual darkness and crime is like, people really don't understand how much of an impact it has on these people that do this job. Flipped off on a daily basis or just driving through a neighborhood and have somebody saying, you know, F the police. And that's something that's become, um, pretty normal throughout the day. Boy, I've been been called just about everything from every racial epithet you can think of to just about every derogatory term. Um, and, and so a lot of times, you know, we're meeting people in crisis when they're at their worst. And so you're gonna most times get their worst behavior, the worst things they can say. Now that I live a different life, I, I get to see that firsthand because I, I have a lot of friends that are cops now and I work with a lot of cops. They get to see just the pure evil that's out here. Confessions of like the most evil things. They get to see like firsthand. Being in a room with a child rapist, a car crash where the whole family died. Without the Lord, we're all in the same sinful condition. We need to view all the sin in the way God does. There is no us and them. We all need the blood of Christ. They're just like us. When I took my criminal justice class at the Phoenix College, I wasn't planning on taking that class, but the lady told me that it would be the best choice for me because it was my first college class. You know, and I asked her, I was like, criminal justice, I was like, who takes, who takes this class? And she's like, well, you know, people that want to be cops or social workers and stuff like that. and, and and I looked at her and I was like, so I just, I just got out of prison right now. I don't think I want to sit next to a cop. And you know, this is the way that I used to, I used to think. So you're talking about when they, when they're clearly probably violating policy in there, we were talking about an officer assaulting someone type of deal. Yeah. Um, I will never just outright say I side with the officer. 
do I think that there's bad officers out there? And I think absolutely there are. And you say bad, I, I think, you know, go, I would describe as evil almost, you know, or they get good at camouflaging that up. So we have to be better at uncovering it. You know, in any profession, not everyone's going to do the right thing. That's just the reality. And you get some people who just, for whatever reason, are going to do things they know they shouldn't be doing. But I, I've got to believe in my heart it's less than 1% um, in, in a very noble profession that are acting out in ways that bring such bad press and legitimately bad press to our profession. The number one issue for police agencies is trust and confidence with the community. And looking at ways that we can go from a, what some might term a warrior mindset to a guardian mindset. We should be guardian servants is, is the role of a police officer. It was embedded in me that they were the enemy and that was it. You know, it was, I had to hate them, I had to dislike them. And it's so far from the truth. They're just like us. They have families, they have issues, they have addictions, they have PTSD. They have so many things just like us. No one should live in fear where they live, you know. So um, certainly growing up in an area that wasn't always the, the greatest, uh, you, know, you, you certainly realize how a few can uh, dominate you know, for the many, and people can feel really uncomfortable in an area, and so I just wanted to make, make it so, no matter what it was or what side of town it was, you know, on any street, people felt comfortable to go out and walk, live, and however I can help bring that about, that's what I wanted to do. You try not to take it personally. That person has their own situation going on. You know, maybe they didn't want to go to jail on their warrant because their kid's birthday is tomorrow. You know, we're, we're put in a position a lot of times where we've got to make decisions that are going to affect someone's life. Um, and, and may not affect just one person's life, but may affect several people's lives. Obviously, the, the fun and exciting stuff, the crime-fighting stuff, is what gets on TV. Um, I don't think that somebody would want to go and watch me try and track down a, a dog that's running loose through a neighborhood and taking it out to the pound, but um, that, that's what we do. You know, there's, there's a lot of not exciting stuff that we do, um, but it is, in, in one way or another, it's, it's helping people but they choose to do a job that not a lot of people would do. I mean, let's be honest. It's a hard time to be a cop right now. If you're too this, you're too that. If you're too this, you're too that. And you guys know what I mean. I mean, let's, let's, not, let's not be kids about this. You know, me taking that criminal justice class was one of the best decisions that God led me to. When that lady told me to take that class and I felt that motherly love in my heart and I took that class, you know, I met, you know, one of my great friends, John, my mentor, my teacher, he disciples me. You know, he was a cop for 30 years. One of the nicest guys you could ever meet. I met the kids at school that now are, now are cops. Uh, and it, it's just, I came to realize that they're just like us. They just choose to do one of the hardest jobs out there. Just truly helping someone. Um, it might sound cliche, but it's, uh, I think that's where you get the most satisfaction in this line of work. As a kid, I got into a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. And there's one cop that made such a huge, I guess you could say huge impact in my life because I can still remember him to this day. Officer Beretta, he used to chase me down 59th Street, down 58th Street, on Holman. I, I mean, there was times that I couldn't run because he would jump out on me too fast. And, and I, have to, I have to really, really think, you know, he was out there just doing his job. I was out there breaking the law, being a criminal, being a criminal. But I sit here now and I think that officer saved my life because he's put me away. And because I was put away, I wasn't killed. Whenever they call, no matter who they are, whether or not we've had a bad uh, encounter with them before, if they call the police, we come. It's the cliche of people are running away from gunfire and we're running towards it, and that's the truth. We're, we're there to help and we're there to protect people. As much as people want to have their own opinions of it, we don't discriminate. If you need help, we're there and we're going to help uh, in any way we can. 
If you see this one day, Officer Beretta, I just want to tell you, thank you. Thank you for all those times you, you smacked me in the head. Thank you for all those times you arrested me. Thank you for all those times you chased me. Thank you for the times you let me go. Thank you for being a gangster cop that wasn't afraid to be out there on the streets, that wasn't afraid to get out and play basketball with us, and that wasn't afraid to give us respect. Because not too many people give respect to those kind of people. As my life gets keeps turning, uh, <laughs> there's so many things that have happened that when I came home from, from federal prison, my probation officer was one of the first law enforcement people that I got really close with. And believe it or not, today he's part of my team. So if that's not God, I don't know what is. <laughs> I would like to just remind them, I guess, that we're real people and that we don't get in this job for the money. Um, pay's not that great. I guess I'd, I'd just really like to remind them that we're in this job to do good. Scripture tells us that we are in a spiritual battle. We need to be real and ask ourselves, how tight are we in our relationship with God? Am I in the word? Am I constantly in prayer? What sin do I have in my life that needs addressing? And, and it's, it's just the fall of the man. It's, it's a sin problem. Whether you're on that side or this side, it doesn't matter. Get right with the Lord and fulfill his purpose, not yours, on this earth. Serve and protect. My prayers go out there to every law enforcement out there, every, every cop, every firefighter, every first responder. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you, thank you. My name is JC, I am Wrong to Strong. Hey, don't judge nobody, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, live for him.